My name is Joseph Denson and I'm seeking the Office of Justice Court Judge, Judicial District 3. I want to be a Justice Court Judge for Lauderdale County District 3 because a judge should know the law. I know the law. As an attorney practicing here in Meridian, I have a general practice. And in that general practice, that covers criminal defense and civil litigation. With criminal defense and civil litigation, sometimes you have to go before the justice court judges. I've been before justice court judges throughout the Mississippi, but mostly in Lauderdale County. In Lauderdale County, the justice court, when I go to justice court, I'm dealing with the judge, and any person that goes to justice court, they're dealing with a judge that um, has maybe a background in law enforcement but that would be the extent of their legal background. Justice court judges typically have maybe 11 hours of judicial training. That's it, 11 hours of judicial training. And that's only if a justice court judge is elected during a general election. So if a judge was not elected during a general election, there is no judicial training. What happens is, in, in every case, it's about evidence. And the prosecutor's job is to present evidence for a guilty verdict. The defense attorney's job is to cross-examine witnesses that the prosecutor present. Most witnesses in justice court would be uh, police officers or alleged victims. A criminal defense attorney's job is to cross-examine those witnesses to to, to show the court what happened based on their client's theory of the case. There's essentially two theories of the case. By and large, the client say, I didn't do it, so this is my reason why I didn't do it. The prosecutor's job is to say it was done and this is the reason why it was done. So it's essentially a battle of facts. And when there's an impasse of whether a certain fact should be admitted into evidence, it's going to be up to the judge to make the determination should that fact be admitted as evidence. These two lawyers have been trained to, to interpret the law. With their training to interpret the law, they give two different interpretations. That interpretation, that decision, which interpretation would be the right law, right standard, is now placed before a judge who has no training in the law. So you have two interpretations, it would basically be a flip of the coin to see which person, which side is right. As a justice court judge and an attorney with a law degree, I would be able to independently make a decision which party was more right than the other. It could seem like a very small piece of evidence. It could seem like a very small fact, but sometimes small facts have a large consequence, a substantial consequence on the outcome of a case. And the, the outcome of a case would be whether a person had to pay a fine, whether a person would be required to serve some time in jail. In misdemeanor cases, a justice court judge could sentence a person up to one year in jail. That's a long time a person's life, a liberty could be taken for a person that didn't understand what the proper, proper interpretation of that law was. And that evidence was admitted, and thereby you had a, a guilty conviction. So now you got jail time, now you have a fine. And let me tell you, if a person does not have an attorney, you have now a prosecutor that's been trained to research the law, trained to interpret the law. You have a lay person that just came to court and it may be their very first experience with a court system with the law. All they have is facts. So if they say, judge, I object, the prosecutor right now knows more law in this court than anybody else. The prosecutor knows more law than the judge. Prosecutors certainly know more law than the defendant that doesn't have a defense attorney. If I'm judged, the prosecutor wouldn't be in a place where they knew more law than everybody in the courtroom because now I would be in a place to say, that's not right. That's not right, independent, Mr. Prosecutor, of what you're arguing. Because the judge's job is also 
to set the standard of the courtroom. I would be there to set the standard of the courtroom. On the civil side, you have a lay person come to file a lawsuit against another lay person that files a lawsuit. So you have two people who don't know anything about the law bringing a lawsuit before a judge who knows about the same amount of the law from a civil side that the two people did. So really, what basis is the judge making his rulings? Not on legal research. The judge doesn't have training unless he's a lawyer or had some paralegal experience, let me say. No legal research could be done. At best, and I know this, justice court judges sometimes call a lawyer to get recommendations of what to do. Well, I'm a lawyer. I don't have to call a lawyer. I can do the research myself. A jail cell does not know race. A fine or civil judgment does not know economic status. But a judge should know the law. I know the law. I ask for your support and vote for me. For Justice Court Judge, Judicial District 3. Thank you.